what is going on everybody welcome to the shutter pirate my name is chris for those of you that are new here i am a travel and adventure photography channel as well as do camera gear review tips and tricks kind of like the one we're gonna do today so the dji osmo pocket 3 we all know is a video powerhouse for how little this camera is you get a lot out of it but as a photographer i want to know how it holds up for photos especially being a travel photographer or anybody that wants to use this for any kind of traveling or anything like that does it do everything we're gonna find out let's get going Eep. All right, so my first composition, I'm gonna try this. Try to get a long exposure of this waterfall, these, I don't know what they are, mermaids or something like that. Not mermaids, I don't know. And this waterfall. So let's see how it holds up with a uh, long exposure. All right, so from what I can tell in the camera itself, the photo, the long exposure turned out great. I mean, there's only one way you can do that though, and that's with ND filters with this camera. And I do have the KNF variable ND filters on right now. I'll put a link down in the description down below if you guys are interested in, but uh, if you're gonna get long exposure, especially during a day like this, you're gonna have to have ND filters. But let me go ahead and flip the camera around, show you guys my next composition, another waterfall with a wedding chapel. And this is absolutely stunning. Um, just so you guys know, I'm in Hawaii right now. I'm at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. This place is amazing. So that's why I want to do this video here today because there's so many compositions all over the place that I just couldn't pass it up. I only got about two more hours until I gotta get on a plane to my next location, which I can't tell you guys where it's at, but you guys are gonna be stoked on it. Um, go ahead, like, subscribe, follow, because you're not gonna wanna miss these videos coming up. Let me turn the camera around. So this is the wedding chapel at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do another long exposure, but I think it's a little bit too bright where I'm at right now. If not, I'll find another composition. Let's do the photo. Yeah, it's still one of these wedding chairs for some stability. Alright, let me know down in the comments down below how did those turn out. Um, this camera just continues to blow my mind. The ease of use, everything from panorama to slow motion to everything. This camera is amazing. Um, right off the bat I can tell you it's perfect for traveling. Uh, that's exactly what I bought it for. So let's go find more compositions. Got a couple hours left. Let's go have some fun. All right, so we have a couple photos of close-up subjects. Let's go ahead and do a, uh, a wider angle. I'm gonna use these palm trees right here. And there's diamond head in the background right there. I'm gonna use these palm trees for a composition. All right, gonna try out one more long exposure. Here's my composition. And here is the photo. These guys quack me up. Ah. Right, I got this really cool statue. The lays are a little beat up, but I'm gonna use these flowers for a foreground. And here we go. I'm gonna do horizontal and vertical on this one. One thing I forgot to mention is that you can use 16 by nine or one by one um, ratio. So keep that in mind. 
16 by nine, you can crop down to four by five. Sorry, it's getting loud as a waterfall. Keep that in mind if you're gonna do like Instagram or something like that, you need to crop it down to four by five. And then uh, one by one obviously would look really good on Instagram. And then you can set up a timer to do, like you're taking family portraits or something like that. Set the timer for, I think it's like three, five, seven, ten, and so on seconds. I'm not really sure, I'll put a, I'll show it right now. Um, so if you want to do like a family photo or something like that and you want to be in it, there you go, you're set up. Alright folks, it's going to be a shorter video today. I apologize, but we got time for one more photo. I want to find like a flower, a plumera, or something like that. And uh, see what, how it does with a uh, close up. So, one more photo, I'll let you guys go. Please like, follow, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. You would think being in Hawaii, flowers would be easy to come by. We got these little guys right here, but I want to use something a little bit bigger, a little bit more dynamic or pronounced. You know what, let's use these guys that we used earlier. You got the pink, the red, and the white. This should make for a cool photo. A lot. I got time for one more, and I want to see how this panorama works out. What other, better, what better place to do it than Hawaii? You got Diamond Head in the background, all the palm trees, the beautiful water. Got time for one more. Let's do it. Let's make it a good one. Wish I could get in this water right now, but I got a flight to catch in a couple hours. Can't wait to show you guys where I'm going. All right, so I'm gonna set up right here and panorama. Here it comes. All right, got to say, not impressed with the uh, panorama. From what I can tell on the camera, after I get in post, I might change my mind. But I want to show you guys one more composition. You guys that are photographers know you can't stop once you start taking photos. But this pier with this color water looks really cool right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take a one by one uh, aspect ratio as, as well as a 16 by nine. It comes to photos right now. All right, folks, that is gonna do it for me today here in Hawaii. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button. It really does help the al algorithm out. I gotta say, this camera just continues to blow my mind. I haven't seen the photos yet. I've only seen them on my phone using the Mimo app as well as uh, on the camera itself. So I'm excited to edit them and see how they turn out. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite photo? What did you guys think of using it as a uh, regular uh, still photo camera? Um, and would you guys pick one of these up for the photos or as a travel camera? There will be a link in the description down below for the camera itself as well as the ND filters. Like I said, if you're going to be doing long exposure, it is a necessity unless it's at nighttime. Um, but it also helps with the time lapse as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, stand by for some really good videos coming soon. I got a lot of good ideas, especially on my next trip where I'm going in just a couple hours. And I hope you guys are excited. I'll see you guys next time. Mahalo. Aloha. Yep.